voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. This is a command for us to concretize what we profess as love. If we say to someone that I love you, prove it by your actions. It's not enough that you just say the word. You got to do something more. And so even the Apostle John, before this verse, he was saying that if you see a brother in need, meet those needs. Don't just say that I love you, brother, and yet do nothing about the need of that brother. Well, friends, let us be true to what we profess as love. Just like God himself, when he said that I love you, he proved his love for us. He sent his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to die for us. So friends, that is love. He said that, yes, I love you. And I'll prove to you that I love you. So he proved it, friends. In the case of the Lord Jesus Christ, he did the same. He was saying that greater love has no man than this, than for that man to lay down his life. And he laid down his life for us because he loved us. And so with us, friends, if we love our brothers, we should be willing to lay down our lives for them. Well, you don't even have to die, friends. Just for your brother. Just meet the need of a brother. See, if they come to you with a, with a need, just meet those needs. You don't have to die for, for them. Jesus had already died for them. So all that we need, friends, is make some sacrifices, extend a helping hand to a brother, and that will be a proof of our love for them if we indeed love them. To forgive, friends, also demands that we love. We forgive out of love. Because we can say it, I forgive you and love you with our lips. But in our hearts, we are still bitter. And that bitterness is reflected in our actions so that we withhold the help that our brothers are entitled to. We don't give them the help that they ask for. So, friends, let's love not with words or tongue, but with actions and truth. This is a command for us. Is it easy to do? Well, friends, it requires a sacrifice, but it's worth it. Because in doing so, friends, there is much blessing that will come our way. So, let's love one another then. Just as Jesus had loved us, let's love each other. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious of you. May He lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace. His alone. God bless. See you next time. Bye.